Okay, today, uh, hi guys, my name is Michael. Today I'm going to introduce the training. If you have any question, please ask, or you can tap on your, uh, your consoles on, on your screen. And we have assistant, uh, Hans, we will help you to solve their problems. The core function chaining of the CR series robot is divided to five parts, which are the TB, PTT motion, stack transporting, complex tricky motion, re, re, remote control, and appendix. PTP motion means point point movement. By controlling the PTP motion of the robot, we can achieve amazing automatic application with robots. Here's the video that shows the two CR robots through the collaboration PDP motion to make the cake. In a PDP motion tuning parts, there is mainly five learning ta uh, tasks. Task one, how to create robot program. Task two, adjustment of the robot speed setting. Three, learn how to use the motion commands. Four, learn the loop control statement. Fifth, learn to operate uh, operation of their IO monitoring. As I mentioned in the unbox training, the robot program is managed in the full uh, project form, which include the teaching point list, robot variable, and the program files. Normally, the program flow includes following steps. First, create the program project. Second, teaching the robots to go to the required points and save the point coordinate values. Third, write your program. After finish the program, save the project, then enable the robot arm and run the program to debug. Normally, before we use the motion commands to control the robot motion, we can use the speed adjustment parameter to adjust the robot speed. And the speed related parameters that we mainly used are speed, Excel, and the CP. And we use the parameter speed and the speed S to adjust the motion speed of the robot arm, which means the proportion of the motion speed. The value range is one to 100, with 100 means 100% which corresponding to the largest of speed. And we use the parameter XL and XLS to adjust the motion accelerations of the robot arm, which means the proportion of the motion acceleration. The, the value range is also one to 100. By using the CP parameter, which means the sm uh, smooth transition, we can set smooth transition during the robot motion. The value range is one to 100. The larger value is the smooth the robot motion will be. There, 
there are two points that you need to notice when you uh, use the, those speed commands. When the parameter speed s and the XLS are not set in the program, the default value of the both parameters is 15. The parameter speed and XL are suitable for Go, MoJ, GoR, MoJR motion commands. While the speed S and XL S are suitable for the move jump, arc three, circle three, and move R motion commands. Brief clarification about the acceleration related definitions. The acceleration affects the changing of the speeds. The joke affects the changing speed of the acceleration. And the final motion speed of the robot is equal to the basic robot joint speed, times the speed parameter times the settled global rate. When the running, if the movement speed is slower than the preset, it's mainly due to the inadequate running distance of the robot arm. And the speed does not reach the speed, uh, set speed. You can increase the speed by the adjusting the speed and the acceleration. It's not recommended to the modify the speed parameters. The most used the motion commands are move J and move. The move J or go is joint movement commands. From point A to point B, each joint will run from the initial angle to its target angle, regardless of the trajectory. Move is rectilinear movement command. The joints will perform a straight line trajectory from point A to point B. Those are two figures show their movement difference whether CP parameter is set or not. As you can see, the movement will be smoother after setting the CP and the bit could be improved as well, app applicable to the transition of the points. When we began to run the scrap, in the most the case, the scrap run faster than the robot's motion. And we use the sync command to synchronize the running of the scrap and the robot. We talk this uh, scrap, for example, after the big above their scrap start to run, it will execute to the lost line and return the scrap value of the zero very soon. But at this time, the robot may steer on the way to P1. And our de desired effect is that the scrap needs to wait for the robot to reach the P2, then execute the lost line to detect its scrap after two scrapped and the robots are synchronized. Therefore, we add the sync synchronization instruction before the detection scrap to solve the problem. About the differences between the wait and the sleep command. The wait command is to set the delay of algorithm Q Executing the wait command, we add a delay command into the algorithm execution queue. It is generally used to delay the robot motion in IO operations. And the sleep command commands is used to add an interval between the two scrapped commands. But the running interval of the robot cannot be set. So it is generally used to delay the scrapped running. Programming language that goes through CR series, robot is rule, which for support the rule, uh, native functions, app apps, multi-threading, and other mechanisms. The loops tab will mainly use the robot programming a wire, ball, repeat, until loop. If the precondition is true in the while loop, the programming will execute the added statement in the loop repeatedly. 
every time before they're going to the next loop, it will check whether the condition is true. In the for loop, it executes their specified statements repeatedly, and the number of the repetition of the loop can be adjusted in the for loop com commands. In repeat until loop, the loop will repeat until the specified condition is true. And about the loop control statements, the break statement is used to exit the current loop or the statement and the start execution the follow, following the scratch. The if statement consists of the Boolean expression as a condition judgment, followed by other statements. And it can run the else statements to execute the else statement command when the condition expression is false. In addition, we can use one or one more if uh, else if statement within an if or else if statement. We can check and set a DI state and a DO signal manually in the DO uh, IO monitor function. And the DI signal can be simulated during the program debugging by choosing the virtual option. About, to, about the uh, collision detection function, if you turn on their function, uh, if you turn on the function, the robot arm will immediately stop when there is reached an obstacle to avoid dangerous collision. The collision detection sensitive is divided to the file level. Where the level five is the most sensitive and the most easily to trigger. The second part is palletizing, which is one of the most common industry robot applications. The video shows the example of the CR robot accomplishing their palletizing task. Through the case of the stacking transporting, we will get to learn the use of the two-bot plugin. And they complete the stack transporting simply from the point to point. Also, we will learn how to reduce the teaching positions by using the subs functions and the offset commands. And finally, use the stack process to quickly complete their stack case, or combining with, with your motion commands. Let's look at the flange at the end of the robot arm, which will connect their suction kit need for their power. The end terminal of the CR robot support I.O. and RS485 communication. To notice that the I.O. output on the end ter terminal of the CR robot is NPN, which is different from I.O. of the controller. And a extension line is included in the CR product delivery package. The Dupont Plus are currently adapted many end effectors, including electrical grippers, electrical vacuum suction cups, and their six dimension four sensor.
In following Palo has an application example, the mainly used energy factor is robotic epic electrical suction cup. After successful installation of the plugin, select the correct bolt and ID in the setting page. And then click the confirm. Confer. Click the init, uh, init to initialize. On the control page, click the grip and the release to fulfill a suction test. Click the grip to set the suction cup vacuum. Click the release to stop the vacuum state. In addition, in the advanced setting, users can set the vacuum range and the time out time for automatic release. After completing the configuration setting, users can control their suction cup by setting up their shortcut key on their end arm function key. To notice that only if the end effectors has been adapted, we could realize the end shortcut key control. And it supported both the uh, app and DEX software. In addition to the manual control of the gripper, control it. There are three lines of the code. Initialize the gripper, start the gripper, and turn off the gripper. Here is a simple programming example. Moving the goose on the left side to correspond the area on the right side by the robot R. The code is very simple. Here through the point to point movement and the switch of the gripper. Step by step, the goods are transported to the corresponding area. To optimize the script program, we can use the offsite and the jump motion command to reduce their teaching points. Here shows the optimized script. As you can see, we only use to uh, need to uh, teach three points, which are point one, waiting point. Point two, the picking position of the first object. And the three, the place position of the first object. The pick and the place position, points of the other stacks are replaced by the offsets. And the jump command can reduce the point, points above the peak and the placed points. This video shows the precise of the prioritizing and the prioritizing.
this parameter example is a little bit more complex than the one just explained. It's to palletize the apis of goods on the left to a corresponding area on the right, forming two layers of the stack. Okay, I will introduce some concepts about the palletizing setting, and you will and you they will be used in the palletizing process. Stacking parameter setting include two parts: the basic parameter setting and the pass point setting. The basic parameter setting is to set the stacking name, number of the stacks stacking direction and spacing. Pass points are configuration points that stack pass through the inner stacking and the stacking path, including safe, uh, including safe transition point, point A, a point that will be passed after entering and leaving their stamp plate, which can be fixed or changed with their flow height. Preparation point, point B, the point calculated from the target point and the set of set. Third point, target point, the target point of the first stamp. Before we start the running prioritizing process code, we need to do some setup. First, completing a uh, user's coordinate cal cal calibration according to the palette. Second, set the number and the offset in the each direction. Third, complete the po positioning kitchen. After all setting are configured, you can run the process code. Let me explain what the code means. First, create and initialize the variables for the deparatizing and parallelizing. Reset and restore the initial state. And to the end endless loop, and the depalletizing area, leave, leave the prioritizing area. Enter the prioritizing area, leave the prioritizing area. If the uh, prioritizing finished, print the exit and it breaks out the loop. Otherwise the logic will be repeated. Finally, release their depalletizing and the paradise instance. In following part, I will introduce the three, uh, at the uh, last the three parts of the core function training, which are complex, complex check motion, remote control and functions. How about team, team Hi guys, we will uh, have their 15 minutes break. Okay, I will start there for the next few parts. In following parts, I will introduce the last three parts 
of their core function training, which are the complex trick, trick motion, remote control, and other functions. So firstly, the complex trick motion learning. In this part, we will learn how to operate the robot to complete the complex trick motion. Get familiar with the use of the robot motion instructions, the robot struct and the job teaching point functions. Also, we will learn the mobilization of the check recorded in the script, as well as the use of the CR user and tour coordinates. And in this part includes three parts, uh, three tasks. Task one, complete the check motion through the motion command. Task two, complete the check motion through the jack and the job teaching. Task three, in establish the user and the tour coordinates. In this graph here shows the example to use the robot motion command, go, move, circle, to complete the trajectory as shown in the red filter. The differences between a go and a move. Go is joint movement from point A to point B. Each joint will fall uh, from their initial angle to its target angle, regardless of the trajectory. Move is linear movement. The joints will perform a straight line trajectory from the point A to point B. About detailed description of the motion function, you can check in our hardware guide later. Okay, this video shows the uh, robot is moving at a tri triangle trajectory. This uh, robot uh, move the square trajectory. The robot is moving as a circle trajectory. Some function keys and indicators lights are added at the end of the robot to facilitate the manual operation. By clicking the trajectory record button, the CR robot can be dragged and its track, track will be recorded, which can not only be reproduced through the clicking the playback button, but also be recorded in the script. This video shows the precise of the recording the trajectory and the play it back. Here shows an example of the calling and save the recorded trajectory in the script. The multi one means the speed multiple is equal to one. Is const equal one means playing back the trajectory in a uniform speed. And the sync one equal one means to uh, means the sync scrapped.
For detailed description of their trajectory playback comments, you can check their team in our Lua syntax guidance. This video shows the running the code of the calling the save the record, recorded trajectory. Now I'm going to introduce the three main coordinates used by our CR robots, namely the base coordinates, the tour coordinates, and the user coordinates. The base coordinate is coordinate system determined referring to the base of robot R shown in the picture here. Rx, Ry, and Rz are the rotation angle of the tour center point TCP, point TCP around the default base coordinate system. X, Y, Z, X with their X, Y of base coordinate is consistent with their direction of base loading height. The tour coordinate system defines the position of the TCP tour center point and a, and a tour position, uh, posture. It orange and direction are constantly changing with their position and the angle of the end effector. The current CR system supports 10 tour uh, coordinate systems. Among them, the tour coordinate system zero represents the default tour coordinate system, which is located at the end of the robotic arm without a tour installed and it cannot be changed as shown in the red feature. The six X tour coordinate system is generated by the three point teaching methods, TCP plus ZX. After installing the tour at the end of the robotic arm, adjust the position of the tour. So the TCP tour center point is aligned to the same point, reference point from the three different direction show in the uh, right uh, picture here. And the tour position offset is optin. The optin tour posture offset according to the other three points, A, B, C. When you establish the tour coordinate system, please ensure that reference is default to a coordinate system. In the global coordinate function, you can customize their tour coordinates. The maximum number of the tour coordinate system that a user can define is nine. And the user can switch established tour coordinate system in the jack interface. The user coordinate system is a user defined workbench coordinate system or ender effector coordinate system. Its direction of orange and each axis can be determined by the actual needs. And it is convenient to target the position of the each point in a working process and arrange tasks by using the user coordinate system. There are three ways to establish a user coordinate system, which are dot, line, and plane. By dot way, first move the 
and the TCP to any point to determine the right uh, orange of the coordinate system and then determine the user coordinate system direction according to the default tour coordinate system direction. By line way, make a straight line by any two points A, B, determine the positive direction of the Y axis of user coordinate system, following the direction from the point A to point B. The, post, the positive direction of the ZX axis of user coordinate system is determined by the projection of the Z axis of the true coordinate system at point A onto the vertical plane of the straight line AB. And then the determine the positive direction of the axis of the user coordinate system according to the right hand rule. By plan way, according to the three point teaching method, moving the manipulator to any three point A, B, C, among which point A is the orange and the connecting line between the point A and the point B determines the positive direction of the axis of the user coordinate system. Make a vertical line through the point C along the axis to the determine the positive direction of the Y axis and the determine the direction of the Z axis according to the right hand rule. And we usually use the, uh, the plan way and this is convenient and more accurate. And this slide shows the brief, briefly in introduction to the switch of the user coordinates. Right now, I'm going to introduce the remote control function of the CR robots. After completing the debugging on the control software of the CR product, you can select the corresponding remote mode in the re remote control function module where the user can start, pause, and stop debugging program through the I.O. and the motor bus communication without running the script through the host computer. There are four tasks in the remote control learning part. Task one, remote mode collection. Task two, learning how to use remote I.O. function. Three, starting the I or wiring. Four, learn how to use the remote motor bus function. There are three main modes to control the CR robots. In the DoBot Studio Pro mode, user can control the robots up through the DoBot Studio Pro. In the remote motor bus mode, users can control the robot arm through the motor bus communication. In the remote I.O. mode, users can control the device through the I.O. wiring. Now we introduce the definition of the remote, remote DI and DO index. DI-11 click alarms. DI-12 keep their operating. 13, suspend operation without exit remote. 15, DI 15, uh, 14, stop the operation and exit remote DI mode. DI 14, enter remote mode and start operation. 16, end agency, emergency stop and exit remote IO mode. And the re they are corresponding here, you can see there is a configuration here. Remote DI definition, DO 13 ready state, DO 14 pause state, DO 15 alarm state, DO 16 operating state. You can change and you can change the DI DO setting by click the mod modify the button and the and uh, switch their, uh, their options. 
Here show the CR controlling uh, controller IO wearing. About the remote motor bus modes, this slide shows the definition of the coin and the discrete input register. To notice that in the remote motor bus mode, the ro robot is a server and the external equipment is a client. The IP address of the robots is 192.168.51. The port is 502. Here we use the motor bus debug tour to show the how the remote motor bus function works. By choosing the function code 0x01, which used to write single code register to change the core register state at address one, uh, zero, you can start remote, uh, remote mode and run this scratch. By choosing the function code 0x02, which is used to read the uh, discrete input register to check the scrapped operating states. In the last part of the CR series call function training, we are going to finish the following seven tasks, and the sum of the which are already introduced in the unboxing training. For those tasks, I will quick through the, and all oh, directly skip it. Task one, software information. Task two, customized position, uh, posture. Task three, security settings. Task four, hardware installation. Five, software setting. Six, authority management. Seven, alarm example. In the version info function, you can check the Relative uh, related version info information of the robot. Please provide the SN, SN of the robot as well as the uh, screenshot of this page when you report the software and all the hardware issue to us, which will help us better diagnose the, diagnose the problem. In a safe setting function, users can drag a single joint of disabled robots uh, by unlocking the break of the joint. Please notice that you need to hold the joint before the unlocking the joint to prevent the risk of the joint falling. About the terminal load direction, the true center of the mass of set CX in X direction, of set CY in the Y direction, and the CZ in the Z direction. The unit is millimeter. Next, we show the end load curve of different CR models, I show. Offset in X, Y, Z directions is mainly set while installing your offset off tour according to the tour according zero direction. Load value must be set if it's, there is a terminal load installed.
Adjusting the jack sensitivity can make the jacking more flexible and smoother. In addition to the con conven conventional horizontal installation, CR robots also support several other installation types. The rotation angle and the slope angle need to be set with different installation methods. The user can get installed the rotation angle and the tiered, tiered angle through the interface calibration function. Adjust the robot's position by an inch, making the terminal flange face up and perpendicular to the ground, and click the cal calibration button. During conventional in installation of the machine, the rotation angle and the clination angle are both set to zero. Please do not modify them. In the settings, communication setting page, you set IP address of the LAN 2 interface and Wi-Fi. It's important to note, LAN 2 interface IP cannot be set to LAN 1 IP and IP of the wireless link to avoid conflict. Also, do not recommendate the comment the user changes their Wi-Fi name because it's their corresponding equipment service number. When the joint jogging excels their set range, their limit alarm will be reported. Jog, jog, uh, jog their joint towards their opposite direction can serve the, solve the issue. There are three kinds of their singularity alarms. Joint, the terminal center point, TCP, of the robot is located in the plan, posit, uh, comp, comp, composite of the joint axis and the joint two axis, which will lead to singularity. Singular position of the AMBO joint, when the pull of the foreign arm of the robot are in the straight line, it will lead to singularity. Rest joint singularity position. If there's J4 and J6 axis of the robot are parallel, it will result in their singularity. When the machine move to the singularity limits, it can be is engaged by the jogging on the joint. Shoulder singularity point. The TCP is located in the plan before the joint one and the joint two. Ambo singularity point. The rear arm and the forward arm are in the inner street line. Rest singularity, the axis of the joint four and the joint six are aligned. When the API is programmed in incorrectly in the script, an error message will be appear. When the script is wrong, the print window will also prompt the specific location of the error which is convenient for us to target arrow. Okay, we are, uh, we are finished with today's content. Next is Q and A. And you, if you have any question, please ask.
Hello. Uh, yeah, uh, Mr. yeah, Mr. Jimmy, I just wanted to ask, uh, can we uh, connect an external uh, HMI in human interface uh, to, to see the data uh, on the screen? See, see what, could you repeat that question? Yeah, uh, can we connect an external uh, HMI, like human interface in, interface, like a screen uh, or a touch screen uh, to, the, to the robot controller? You mean that now we connect the interface of the the software? Oh, uh, no. We we want to display the production data on a screen. So can we can we have some handshaking and do the interfacing on some screen, some external screen like uh, uh, like we have in PLCs and HMI. HMI. Yeah, human machine interface. Wait a minute. Yeah. Hello, I want to con uh, confer your question again. Could you uh, tap your uh, question on the screen? I will see the, the question clearly. Yeah, yeah. For the... Okay, I will send a uh, document to you. Thank you. Hello, for the question, do we have any simulation software? What do you mean? Could you explain more? And we, we, we have the robot DK to uh, simulate the uh, to simulate for what? robots. Hello. 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 Yeah, uh, Jimmy. Uh, sometimes uh, customer says that we have uh, uh, the program uh, from uh, Sekuka robot or something like. So they give us a point table. So can you share a document to to you know get the point table from other uh, robots to the robot? Could you tap their screen? I cannot catch your voice. Could you tap their Okay, question okay. on the on the screen. One minute.
for the question, is there another option for the programming language? We can have the uh, other interface for their secondary development. Such we can use the Python, uh, C, Java, C sharp, etc. We have those interface and uh, to uh, to program. Well, the question, how can we get the pollen table or the fire from the, from the other robot manufacturer? No, we can't. Uh, for the question, is auto load calibration available? No, no, we are not supported, but we are developing it. For the question, is there any way to import a point table from Access, Excel? Yes, we have the, the way, but the data content will be introduced in the next, uh, next uh, uh, training. Uh, we were waiting for seven minutes to, to see if you have the, any question. If you have any question, please ask and tap on the screen. We, we will uh, solve it as, as, uh, as we, as,
we support five uh, five cameras uh, during a time, but the one only once one can be used sim uh, similar at one at one time. Simultaneously, okay. For the, okay, sorry, for the, uh, and it's possible to the, use the camera from the different manufacturing into the vision software. For now, we, we just uh, support the hack vision for the vision software. Dubo Vision Studio. Dubo Vision Studio. Uh, for the uh, question for the old version upgrade, uh, regarding the upgrade of the old version, please communicate with us via the email, and we we have the technician to help you to update their old version machine.
transportation. Uh, for this training, do you have any suggestions? Uh, you can uh, tap on the screen. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, another, th another thing may I uh, ask you to do, if you think this chain is good, please tap the good on the screen. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Really, thank you for you guys. Thank you.